Prime Minister Hassan Dieb took office in February during an uprising that demanded a new leadership. A promotional video released by his office has sought to show his credentials among people, but his opponents see it differently. They say Dieb and his ministers are not independent of a political class that ruled for decades. If they are an independent government, they should start by listening to the news. Speaker Barry said, if you don't do this, we're going to withdraw our MPs. Uh, Basil, the playmaker, said if you don't approve uh, Salata, the, the, another fraud of or stealing the public money through a Salata power uh, unit, we will take with the, our MPs. Dieb is trying to manage a deep economic crisis. He has compared Lebanon to a rapidly sinking ship that his government is saving. He has made many promises, like fighting corruption. That includes ending the smuggling of subsidized goods, particularly fuel, across the border to Syria. But he needs the support of his political backers, the alliance led by Hezbollah, to do that. The armed group, backed by Iran, is accused of smuggling weapons through that border in violation of a UN resolution. I understand that the Hezbollah has a veto power. I'm not sure that this government can and is able to uh, secure the borders as per international standards. Uh, there won't be any aid to, to Lebanon. The international community is conditioning aid to reforms that have yet to be implemented, like judicial independence, fighting tax evasion, and trimming the public sector. Also, Deb's government does not have many friends. The U.S. and Gulf Arabs won't bail out a country they believe is controlled by Iran. Deb and his ministers say they can't be blamed for decades of corruption and mismanagement. We understand the suffering of the people and their hardships, but there are fears that some might try to use it for political gain. All the while the economic situation worsens, the country is close to bankruptcy. The monetary resources we have barely are barely enough for the uh, next coming weeks, weeks, not months. There are calls to return to the streets as hunger grows. Politicians are clinging on to power even though they could soon be presiding over a state in ruin. Zena Khudr Al Jazeera, Beirut.